So we're going to look after the lower back now. Now, originally when I did my first qualification through the trigger point, guys, I was told not to foam roll the lower back directly. Um, it's not built for rotation. We don't need to put any extra bit of pressure on it. It deals with the load of the, the T-spine and the C-spine all day long, which is, in fact, true. However, you can angle the standard roller off the middle of your spine, or off your, your spine here, and get into that bit there. But I've never been taught that. Instead of thinking outside the box, I just completely stayed off it. However, I then met these guys. Again, the general efficiency. So this can get right into the fascia or the Christmas tree shape at the bottom of the lower back without compromising spinal integrity and spinal health. Okay? So for me, the best way to do this is up against the wall. And you want to just put it directly, probably the top of the glutes, starting the lower back. Try and bring your shoulder back into it. And you're just going to do like a little wall set. And that is heavenly. And get right into it there. Now, there's not a lot of muscle in your lumbar spine there. The vast majority of it is, in fact, fascia. So, why I've never really rolled it is beyond me. Given all that I've known, um, I should have been able to think outside the box. But again, it just shows you how the creatures are armored. Okay, and thank God for these guys here. This is phenomenal. If you don't have one of these, just angle your standard roller. But there is direct reprieve from your low back symptoms.